Hey, what is going on everyone? I hope you guys are all having a great day. In today's video, I'll be going over how to play on King's Canyon in Apex Legends Season 16. Now, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you might already know that I have made some videos going over how to get onto King's Canyon, but that wasn't the overall point of the video. Sure, you ended up on King's Canyon, but ending up here in the first place was just a byproduct of doing another glitch. But I have been getting so many questions asking me how to play on King's Canyon in season 16. Like for instance, on some of my background gameplay, people have seen me on King's Canyon using the Nemesis AR. And a ton of people are like, how are you even doing this? And you know, things like, I wish I could play on King's Canyon right now, because honestly it is a really cool map and King's Canyon is personally my favorite map. So I definitely felt after getting all those questions, like I needed to make a separate video going over how to play on King's Canyon. And that is exactly what I'm about to show you how to do. In the season 16 update, we got this new thing called orientation matches. And these matches take place on King's Canyon and they're for new players coming into the game. Now, luckily orientation matches were set up so anyone can access these matches on King's Canyon. All that you'll need to do if you wanna get into one of these orientation matches on King's Canyon, you'll just need to join a friend who's on a level one account, or you can also join a level one alt account if you have one. All that you really need to do is just join another account that still has access to orientation matches. Now from here, once you have joined that level one account, you'll just want to queue into a match. And just like that, you should now be on King's Canyon. And some things to note about this, there's always going to be 48 opponents that are bots. And besides your squad, there's a possibility of having nine more opponents who are real players. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I already have a super in-depth guide going over what you can do in these lobbies. Things like how you can get in these orientation matches all the time and how you can get into these orientation matches all by yourself so all your opponents will be bots. So if you are interested in any of those things, then I definitely recommend checking out that video. As always, the link will be down in the description and the comments. One last thing to point out, because I know this is a common question sometimes, and the common question is, am I going to get banned for doing this? Now the game's developers made this very clear. On their website, they encouraged anyone to go into these lobbies, and they even said, if you're a level one, invite whoever, invite all your friends, and bring them into your orientation lobbies. And another thing to note is how the lobbies are structured. The brand new players starting up the game who aren't bringing in any friends, they go to their own lobby, and as for players bringing in their friends or people doing this, they'll go to their own separate lobbies. Again, I think this is a pretty neat glitch. I really just like King's Canyon at the end of the day. And after talking to a lot of people, this is probably gonna be like a lukewarm take, but the map rotation this season isn't the best. I would have liked to see Olympus and I really would have liked to see King's Canyon back, but hey, now you can go back there. And they did actually make some minor improvements to the map. They sealed off a lot of hidden tunnels within the canyons and just stuff like that. So I definitely recommend doing this for a change of pace and it's just always fun to go up against the bots as well. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. A huge thank you to my subscribers and channel members. Have a great rest of your day everyone and I'll see you all around later. Bye guys.